So there's been another report of a public figure, Jeremy Clarkson, using a derogatory term for black people. And at first, the story appeared in, in the mirror, uh, I believe it was online, uh, with the video evidence. And to that, Jeremy Clarkson replied, I did not use the N-word. And he strongly denied that he used the N-word. He said, I haven't used it, etc., etc. And his exact words are, I did not use the N-word, never use it. The mirror has gone way too far this time. But within a day, it suddenly changes to another statement. Uh, where he says, I recorded a Top Gear a couple of years ago. I qu quoted the rhyme, eeny, meeny, miny, mo." There's a racist expression I was extremely keen to avoid. I did free takes. In two, I mumbled where that would occur. And then he's suggesting that the volume has been raised as he's tried to mumble it. But it's actually very clear when, when you hear the recording. And then he said, I didn't use the N-word here. Um, uh, can I do another take of it? Uh, because he didn't want it to uh, be put in, into the public domain and, and be broadcast. And then he said, and I, as I'm sitting here begging your forgiveness for that fact, that obviously my efforts weren't quite good enough. Thank you. So on one hand, he's saying he didn't say it, on another he's saying it, in, in the same breath he's saying he tried to mumble it. And you might think he's very confused, no, he's got legal advice. And the legal advice he's been given is to try <coughs> to make a statement where he's saying my intention was not to say that word beginning with N. Because to get prosecuted they have to prove that your intention was to cause harassment. And I'll give you another example. So a few years ago, there was a policeman, and his name was PC Alex McFarlane. And he arrested uh, a black boy called uh, Mauro Demetrio. And when he arrested him, he said what everyone will know to be quite racist. The problem with you is you will always be a nigger. Be proud of who you are. Don't hide behind your black skin. And then he told the court, there was no problem with your skin colour from my point of view. So he's saying, what I've said, it isn't, I didn't intend it to be racist. It's just what I've said. And then he said this, it was my opinion that he had such low self-esteem that he was ashamed of his skin colour and that is why he referred to himself as a nigger and that is why I repeated it. So again, he's, he's questioning, he, he, he's trying to say my intention wasn't to be racist. That's why Jeremy Clarkson has made this statement and he's got legal advice to do it. And that's how all of these clever people keep worming their way out of uh, uh, using uh, these type of words and that's why they keep getting away with it and a few years b before that you had Prince Harry using the term Paki uh, for one of his colleagues uh, from Sandhurst so what is it with the society in Britain that they feel that they can use all these racist terms and keep getting away with it oh I'm sorry that I said it I'm really sorry but I, I didn't mean to be racist how stupid is that and how long is this going to go on for and the BBC should be ashamed of themselves because they should have sacked this guy already as soon as that video came out. Because for people of, uh, people of ethnic, minor, ethnic minorities here in the UK, we're fed up of this. So how long are you going to keep protecting these people? When are you going to actually make an example of somebody who's been racist so to put an end to this stupidity? Because when you, if you don't make an example out of somebody, this is going to carry on and on. And then you wonder why riots happened and, and, you know, a few years ago. You wonder. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, and it's about time that it stopped.